Hi guys and welcome to a transfer video of By Myself Bates and 87. We're not done one throughout the week this week because of you guys knowing how much Team of the Year content's been on the channel. If you guys have missed any of it, go and check it out. But there has been a lot and even the last video before this one, guys, will have been a Foot Champions video if you guys are interested in the Foot Champions progress we are making this week. So, with it being Team of the Year... It has no impact on real life, guys. So um, now we are actually going to jump into real life to see what potentially could come in the future on FIFA 17 with transfer cards. A lot of heavy speculation on three main transfers um, in today's video. And I want to know your opinions and thoughts on them um, because they are very, very interesting. China, the root of one of them. I don't know what the root of the other one is, but maybe you guys know more than I do. So if you guys do want any MSP, PSN codes, or cheap game codes, guys, go and check out G2A.com. Their link is down below. It will try and hit over 5,000 likes. That would be brilliant. And guys, subscribe to me if you're not subscribed already. So, with that, guys, Diego Costa. Yes. In form. Well, he is. He's one of the more informed strikers, him and Ibrahimovic, tearing up the Premier League recently, keeping Chelsea at pole position in the Premier League as well. And... For some reason, and this is what the British media have come out and said, that his head has been turned by an offer from China. Apparently, he got into a bust up with Conte, who is the Chelsea manager, and uh, Conte turned around to him and said something along the lines of, fuck off to China, um, or do something like that. But, as of the Saturday evening, it has come out that um, Diego Costa... And Diego Costa was dropped from the uh, Chelsea team for this weekend as well. Uh, it came out that Conte has said and stated that there was nothing. To, he doesn't know anything about a bid from China. And the reason that Costa was out of the team is because of a back pain or back injury that he did sustain on Tuesday. And he hasn't trained with the team since. So... I obviously do side with what Conte is selling because he's not. Even though he would be like one of the most richest players, uh, like highly paid players in the world, going out to China. Um, He's gonna he's gonna do stuff for Chelsea, like win the league with Chelsea potentially. I I, I honestly think Chelsea are gonna win the league um, this season. That's me being a Liverpool fan. We can put up a close fight, but Chelsea have just got that squad depth which wins them games, and uh, obviously that's been uh, proven today with not even needing Costa and then winning uh, quite heavily against Leicester City as well. So let me know your thoughts and opinions if you're Chelsea fans as well, guys. I want to know them down in the comment section below. Um, uh, and obviously, if he does go to Chelsea uh, to China to become one of the highest paid players in the world, why not? It's only a short career is uh, is being a footballer, uh, and obviously he could make an absolute bank in China. But if it's a back injury, then it's it's nothing. And the British media yet again speculating and making up bullshit to sell papers and headlines and get clicks onto websites and stuff like that. Um, but it'd be a shame to see Diego Costa go from the Premier League just because he's become he was a bad boy turned into one of the uh, one of the most prolific strikers that we've seen in a very long time in the Premier League. Next one we got guys is Didier Drogba. You may have known that when the MLS season did finish, he chose to. To leave Montreal Impact, he had a um, uh, heavily linked with a move back to Chelsea and a few other clubs in Europe. But it's looking like he could be on the verge of signing for the Corinthians, um, which is a Brazilian team which isn't in FIFA, even though the Brazilian league is searchable. Um, the Corinthians are not, unfortunately. So, um, yeah, interesting. Uh, it'd be nice to see Pogba back. And obviously in the Brazil league as well, there's a lot of... Uh, like old school legends out there you guys know Veron rekindled his career he's come back as a professional footballer as well even at that great age and Drogba look, looking to be doing the same as well next one we've got guys Berardi we have mentioned this a few times this one's stalling but should go through in the next couple of days and it is Berardi from uh, a Serie A team to Milan Milan Looking to make a lot of decent changes this um, transfer window to bolster them for uh, obviously a title challenge. Cal Jenkinson on the verge of leaving Arsenal on loan to join Crystal Palace for the remainder of the season. And speaking of loans, guys, um, the loan of oh fuck, what's his name? There was a Chelsea striker, and he's been going here and there everywhere for the past couple of seasons. Uh, you guys will know who he is. I can't. I've talk, I hear here when I can't remember a name. Hmm. Bamford? Yeah, Bamford's loan uh, has been uh, terminated uh, with whoever is on loan at and he has returned back to uh, Chelsea. Now, Dimitri Payet. This is the second big talking point of today, guys. Um, on Friday, uh, Bilic, obviously the uh, West Ham manager, did come out and say that Payet um, has stated that he never wants to play for West Ham again and uh, has obviously been exiled from the team. Now, this is interesting because, one, since he has obviously carried West Ham, and it, is, it has been noticeable, even though today uh, West Ham played pretty well and that fucking incredible scissor kick from uh, um, Big Andy Cavill uh, shows that he's not obviously the main person and he's not the only person to win, to, to win them games. But Payet... 
is like he's really he is a higher tier player than a lot of the West Ham players. And he said that he loves West Ham. He wanted to stay there for the for the for the, for the foreseeable. Um, but he's had a change of mind now. But he's gone about it the wrong way. Now David Gold, who I think is the owner of West Ham, has stated that he will not be selling Dimitri Payet this transfer window. Um, and it looks like unless he makes a reversal of his. I don't, I don't even know if it's a tantrum. Maybe it just might have been a spout, but it looks like it's been going on for a while behind the scenes. It's looking like he could be exiled from the whole of the West Ham team and... Um I may not even play for them again. And I think one of the things which has come out, which Payet said, and I don't know how true this is, Dimitri Payet has said if he is forced to play for West Ham, he will fake an injury um, so he never has to play for them again. I don't know how true that is, guys. West Ham fans, leave comments down below how triggered I uh, at the fact that Payet, the person who you backed up, you've made songs about, like we've got Dimitri Payet, that song and stuff, and uh, he's just turned around and basically took a shit all over the club, um, especially at this difficult time where, you know, West Ham struggling to pick up results uh, with, with results they should be picking up, so um, interesting one, food for thought the comment section definitely should be filled with Diego Costa and Dimitri Payet today they're the ones I want to be reading about, and that's why we've covered a hell of a lot of them today in the video so far now moving through guys, we've got Tom Cavill who's close to completing his loan move uh, from Tottenham Hotspur to Swansea, um, this one I think is medical pending or maybe it's even gone through already and you've seen how fast EA go through with the transfers completed all the way to actually being put into the game, it happens pretty quickly now so I know we never covered Schneidlin confirmed transfer, um, Jovetic to Sevilla's in FIFA now, there's a few more are packed uh, as well but a lot of them have gone through now so now and then, if there's a massive batch, I'll do a transfer video, but uh, apart from that, guys, if they do drips and drafts, which it seems to be EA's way of doing it now, we won't be doing them in the future. Next one we've got, guys, is Memphis Depay. Obviously, uh, him and Schneidlin both confirmed to be leaving. Manchester United, Schneidlin's already gone and confirmed. Depay, uh, Leon. The uh, French team have uh, already come out and stated that they have definitely made contact about Depay, and uh, who knows, he could be heading out to Liga and to... Uh, Hopefully we kindle his career because he was a very good player uh, back in the year division but never seemed to get form uh, in the Premier League. We have Gregory Vanderweel as well. You guys know this card if you do SBCs, a pretty expensive card being uh, Dutch and uh, in the uh, Turkish League for Fenerbahce. Potentially moving to Hull. Not sure if it's a loan or a permanent contract, but definitely put in a competition for David Myler, uh, who's a st who's a standing right back currently for well, he was for one game. Um, but Vanderwill, yeah, looking like he could be on his way to the Premier League. We have Lorente. Now this one isn't even related to uh, Diego Costa uh, being potentially on his way out of Chelsea. They definitely do want Lorente brought into Chelsea as a backup striker. Now you've seen what Conte has done with the likes of uh, Alonso, who's come into the team, scored two goals today. One of them was um, a pretty suspect uh, deflection, uh, but it was on target anyway. And Lorente, he just seems to pull the best out of the players. Look at Moses as well. And Lorente would suit a different style of game, which maybe Conte wants to play. And uh, obviously would be a perfect link to a lot of Chelsea players currently, uh, with the likes of Pedro, likes of Costa in the team, Fabregas as well. Um, it would be a nice nice, uh, nice addition for foot purposes. But I don't know if anyone is interested in 55 pair strikers. We also have Simone Zaza, another player who's never going to be playing for West Ham again, um, has signed or is very, very close to signing for Valencia. I'm actually not... Not sure if this card's in the game already. I will double check because I've got FIFA open. Um, but this one, um, like it says, it was confirmed, but there's no nothing. There was nothing in FIFA yet, and I don't think I've packed this card yet. So we'll see if he's, uh, if he's, no, there's only West Ham ones on the transfer market, so he can't have been, um, can't have been uh, added into the game yet, but this one's near enough uh, basically finalised. We have Olsen, uh, who currently plays for Norwich, he's close to signing for Swansea as well, obviously Swansea have got a new management team and are uh, looking to bring in a few players, and Olsen's one of the top targets which they have stated. We have Niasse, um, I think he's actually a striker, but he's, for some reason he changed to Cam uh, while doing this. He has um, signed on loan from Everton to Hull. Uh, to hopefully give him some playtime at Hull and uh, never started today um, against whoever Hull were playing but Hull picked up a victory anyway with Hernandez and there's also another player which Hull have signed but he's not in Ultimate Team and I can't remember the guy's name but he is from Standard Liège, I do think. Uh, was it Standard Liège? I can't remember now. Uh, we have Patrice Evra. Last week was uh, rumoured to be coming back to Manchester United, but he is posting some very trivial um, posts to Instagram about his future, and it's looking like Crystal Palace could be the key um, to doing that. Obviously, it will be one of his final clubs, and a lot of players do go to likes of Crystal Palace and QPR um, to finish off the career, and Evra would obviously take experience to the team, uh, especially with the ex 
England manager um, being at the helm of the uh, squad. We have Batshuayi as well. Not not really making the impact, which I honestly thought he would do for Chelsea. Uh, he uh, come on as a late sub today for Chelsea. Uh, I thought he would be the starting striker with Costa out. That wasn't the case. And I think with that, PSG are very, very interested in getting his permanent signing. Um... Or maybe even a loan deal to uh, give him some playing time for PSG. PSG, you know, already signed Draxler. He scored his debut today. Very, very nice goal as well, uh, if you guys haven't seen it. Uh, but interested to know your thoughts on this guy. Do you think he should be given more time at Chelsea? Do you think he should be given more game time, in fact, at Chelsea? Or do you think he should go to PSG and get more, more playing time and uh, prove people why he is uh, obviously one of the... Biggest transfers of the summer uh, when he did move to Chelsea. We have Faguli as well. Roma uh, uh, lining up a bid for for him. Uh, even I think he scored for West Ham today, didn't he? Um, but Faguli obviously playing for West Ham, doing the business for West Ham, uh, and was one of the big signings at the summer as well. Uh, it looks like Roma are interested in getting his signature. And then we have Januzaj as well. This one's not really going to be talked about much, but um, he his agent has confirmed that Leon have shown interest in uh, getting him out of the Premier League from Sunderland, but he is saying that he does enjoy life at Sunderland. So hopefully um, he does stay there, even though Sunderland are getting... Well, they are the whipping boys of the Premier League currently, aren't they? And we have De Gea as well. Now, apparently... No teams have gone for him yet, but it looks like Mourinho is going to trigger something which uh, does apply an extension onto his contract. I don't know how it works. I don't know the details about De Gea's contract, um, but apparently a lot of the newspapers have come out today and said that um, there is an extension clause within his contract and uh, Mourinho is going to activate it so he stays at the club and obviously if uh, teams do come in, they're going to be playing stupid amounts of money for him. We've also got John Terry as well. Uh, was heavily rumoured to be going to Bournemouth uh, as a permanent transfer. Uh, Conte still wants him in the team and the Bournemouth manager has said there's been no contact but John Terry, you know, guys, uh, he doesn't really get much time uh, at playing at Chelsea, but he is getting on now, and you can tell uh, FIFA cards, no one to give a fuck anyway about his FIFA card because of the fact he has got 34 pace. I have never once seen anyone use John Terry apart from in the draft. Then we have Schlupp as well. This one's a confirmed transfer, guys. Made a big money move from Leicester to Crystal Palace. 88 pace silver. This card should be in the game probably Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday because they're pretty fast at doing them. And then we have De Hood as well. Um, I wanted De Hood to come to Liverpool. It um, doesn't look like it's going to be happening as Inter, uh, sorry, AC Milan are making big moves to try and pull him in. Whether this one goes through this transfer window, we'll have to wait and see. But hopefully Liverpool do go back in for De Hood because, um, I don't know, we need some depth to the squad and we need it fucking fast. So that's been a rundown of all the transfers today, guys. Like I said, the way I do these squads um, is on footwiz.com. You can do a custom builder and you can uh, view it on the web app like we've done here. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have a like it, it be very, very much appreciated. Subscribe to me if you're not subscribed already. I'm definitely going to check out all the content on the channel as well there's been lots of varied stuff squad builders um past and present yesterday a pack opening there's gonna be another pack opening later today and also later today is gonna be another foot champions video but i hope you guys have enjoyed today's video leave a like rating comments down below guys about costa payet and who was the other main player maybe batshuai as well maybe them three uh, as the main ones but no big money moves have gone through yet apart from obviously the schlup one um but a lot of interest has been shown by a lot of players from around the world so it'll be interesting to see what does go through uh with us hitting the halfway point uh, of the january transfer window Thank you.